Hello. Oh, this is Ufuma Anigoro. I just had the privilege of um, listening to the Saturday Summit with Pastor Sunday Adelaja that was titled Your Self Confidence is uh, based on knowing your self worth. And uh, listening to this message has just been flooding me with memories. I've just been, you know, thinking and, you know, just. You know, just memories of growing up, you know, as a child, you know, and it's, it's, it's made me, you know, want to share, you know, my experience of being different because I recognize, you know, very early that I was different. I'm number seven in my family and um, among my siblings, I, 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 I was quick to know that I, I was the smallest among my siblings. So, but that was one difference I, I became aware of. But also growing up and from when I became aware of myself, I also knew that I was different. And the thing about my being different was that I liked it. I was comfortable with me. I was, I just had this self-assurance and self-awareness, you know, that I just liked me. You know, and because of that, I didn't want to be like anybody else. Even in school, even though I was, you know, I, I was very, very active and with lots of friends and everything. But I noticed that I still maintain my identity. I just want to be me. I don't want to be like um, everybody else. I don't do things, you know, just the way everybody, you know, does their things. I just believe that I was unique. Probably, you know, um, the scripture that says I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Maybe probably that had a great hold on on my heart, and I just believe that I was. I was fearfully and wonderfully made. That even when I find myself in a compromising situation. I just analyze and I think and like do do you want to do this because everybody is doing this and I just get myself out out of it and I just really wanted to be you know to be me and not be everybody else you know I be, I, I was so conscious of of being different that at the time I left secondary school you won't believe what I I did I I changed my name I gave myself a new name and you know what the name was difference you know, that's why when I was listening to this message and I kept hearing the team difference coming up, it was just getting me really excited because I actually was calling myself different. By the time I got to university, those in my fellowship knew me as Sister Difference and a lot of them still call me Sister Difference, you know, till now. But, they, but that became also a problem because, you know, because I wasn't conforming and, you know, doing things, you know, according to the status quo. I had problem. I remember somebody telling me that I need to be born again, again, just because I will not do things like, you know, the way other people. I will not conform to what you know other people were doing. I just refused to maintain, you know, conform to the status quo. I was told I had to be born again, again. Can you believe that? Just because I wouldn't do what every other person is doing in fellowship, you know. But that 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 was just me i just enjoyed being different and there was one song that was actually you know also a very strong hold for me when it comes to being different you know there was this christmas song that says dare to be a daniel and because of that that's that song was a very strong call message for me and for me it was like you know and I, I i just have to be different you know i dare to be different it doesn't matter what anybody feel about it but i dare to be different and it's so hard to maintain a difference when people make you feel odd and they think that you know you are you are maybe you are uh, you are thinking that you are better than everybody else or you you are feeling too too special about yourself you know it's so hard but in spite of all that you know i just refuse to conform i don't want to conform to what everybody else is doing why do I why why will I conform if it's not my style? If it's not my style, it's not my style. I won't do it because you know everybody else is doing, you know. And this message today, you know, is is um, is <laughs> it's just making me really think, you know. And now I know my difference is was for a purpose, you know. And of course, with Pastor Sunday, I've actually discovered my purpose and to actually know that yeah, my difference is divine, and you know, to also understand that. There is a reason why I am different. And, you know, also working with the guests, I can see that that is actually at the core of my message. That is, that is what is at the core of my message with the guests. To, you know, tell them that you can be different. You are unique. You are valuable. You don't have to be like everybody else. You don't have to conform to, to the status quo. Be you. Be unique in yourself. Be different. You know, 
that is my core message for the girls and i'm i'm just uh, really grateful for pastor sunday and uh, you know i'm just thinking and remembering all of this and getting you know super excited um thank you pastor sunday i love you so much <laughs> i i don't know if i'm rambling but i'm just really excited and i just needed to share thank you and god bless you mm -hmm.